Hi, I'm Nicole. I've been a nanny for about seven years now and I was a preschool teacher and assistant for two. I have some tips of do's and tricks to earn some brownie points and just like what to do to keep a house flowing and keep everyone happy. And I kind of wish I had a video with some of these tips when I first started my nanny job. And if you have any tips or anything you would love to share, please put it down below and share with everybody. I've written everything down and I printed them out. So I'm going to be pulling over here to grab my little pieces of paper because I can't remember everything I want to say. Um, to really show the parents what you're doing with the kids, like play games and do things where you can show the kids how to learn and show the parents you're actually doing stuff with them. So like puzzles and chalk and games and things you can take pictures of the kids doing and learning at the same time. Um, one of my favorite things to do with the kids is go outside and with chalk and make our own Candyland game with like a path and they hop on it, color the different squares, they run through it, they take their bikes through it and it's an all day event and it's great to show the parents when they get home from work and their driveway is just covered and their kids are happy and they're tired and they have all these different games and they're proud of the work they did. It's definitely one of my number one um, to do with the kids. And then also another do, always put the veggies down first. Make them eat their veggies before you give them anything else. I do separate bowls because otherwise it just would never happen. Um, also, if you can bring the trash cans out, pull them out for the family. They're just one thing, cross off their list. It's crossed off yours. You're helping out. They're thankful. It just helps the whole day flow. Um, send two or three photos a day of the kids doing whatever, smiling or maybe like a little video of just saying hi to mom and dad, something cute or learning something, um, playing with Play-Doh. Uh, magnet tiles, kinetic sands, and have little themed days too. Like let's, like if you are allowed to watch TV or something, do like um, underwater, like on Netflix, like the ocean thing, and then figure out all the ocean animals they have in the house, put them in a big pile, count how many stuffed animals they have. Can you like make those animals out of Play-Doh? Like just see how you can pull it all out of one theme throughout the whole entire day or pick different colors too that I think that's one of the most fun things is like pick green like find everything green like eat everything green and like go around the house can you who can count and touch as many green things possible first and everyone is having a great time running around and thinking differently than they normally would with a different type of game um scavenger hunts also tying into the green Get like I have like this little container. Um, it used to have beads in it, and they fin they use all the beads or whatever. But it has like perfect like twelve little boxes. And if you're on the scavenger hunt, pick up only green things in the neighborhood and put it in the box. And it's a great way to count, a great way to search different textures to add into everything. Oh, I just dropped a lot of papers. Um, share little videos. See, that would be really cute if you shared little videos like of the scavenger hunt too. And it's just different, something different to do that's exciting for you and the kids. And the, then the parents get to see like, oh, you're teaching them. You're not just sitting there doing nothing on your phone. You're not just throwing up something on TV for them. Like if it is educational, cool. If they do have TV time, cool. But it's like also just like getting involved in a different way. Um, cauliflower macaroni and cheese has been one of my um, main things lately that have been has been working but make sure you don't say mac and cheese you just say cauliflower with cheese on it otherwise it's very disappointing I was disappointed the first time I had it um, but I definitely recommend just saying cauliflower with cheese on it and just tell them it tastes better or what's also really good um craft just came out with macaroni and cheese that has cauliflower in the noodles too. It's a little green box. And there's like a little broccoli dude on the front of the box. So I straight up um, got a bag of broccoli, whole entire like bag, chopped it all up, 
cooked it with the noodles and everything and just said and like it pointed to the box and said hey it came with it inside like it's like what you're supposed to do you add the broccoli see the little dude and the kids ate it i was like you this is the mac and cheese this is it and they ate it up and it was good everybody was happy wasn't their favorite they said next time they would prefer just the mac and cheese but i got veggies in them and that was the one for me so um some families I, like like everything written down some have open communication um i prefer a group message i think that's the easiest and of course it can change over time and flow different for certain things um i used to text heavily of updates with the kids um, but now that we've really gotten to know each other and know like the routine and everything, it's more chill and we don't need that constant communication because we built that level of trust. So, but it takes time and my routines that I have now with the kids, it also has taken time to just get there for me to figure it out what works, what doesn't work. I mean, just to learn where everything goes in the house takes time too. So if you feel like um, a chicken with your head cut off for the first month or two, that's very normal with every family you start with. Um, having bath time, give the kiddos a bath sometimes before the parents get home, especially if it's like spaghetti night or something like that, just so the kids, so the family can just be together and be a family and hang out and not have to do all the little things. Get all the little things done for them so they can just be them. Again, talking about brownie points in the beginning, that is just one of those things that like, if I was in their shoes, I would so appreciate that. And it's just like one thing off their list. Like not every night, you know, you can go to things after sometimes or this or that, but if you know, and especially if it's not like hair washing day or whatever, um, and it's just like suds, then you just give them a little bath. They get to play a little bit. I always like to play Beethoven. It's a very calming thing. That's one of my things, especially with, um, nap time Beethoven works and I've used Beethoven with a few different families I've been with over the years and Beethoven is magic baby Beethoven there's like a blue star it's on YouTube and it's it's good stuff um, communicate with the kids when you're cooking or folding laundry or their daily schedule and tell them what you're doing ask them do you know what the name of this is do you know what what this does and just teach them along the way. Like I was making pasta and I was asking if they know what this bowl is with like the, all the holes in it. And they said, no, and it's like a strainer or a colander. I think I just said strainer, um, Beethoven. Yes, I already went through that. Um, have a random like ideas in the back of your head of things you can do with the kids or have a, a like a note in your phone of like places to go in write down like the dates they're open and when they're not open of like just daily stuff because one time I went to the botanical garden but it was a Monday and it was closed and then the little one was upset and then I felt kind of dumb and so just have it written down it's just helpful um communication calendar communication we have an open um pad that's like Monday through Friday it has spaces for everyone's name I believe it's just like at Target and it's so helpful just to be like soccer's this day gymnastics this day class here parent teacher conference here we're doing this this day doing this swim lessons all the things and then you can like check it off or you like there's space for the grocery list on the side if you help out with like tasks like that when the kids are at school um but it's like that's very very helpful just to have an open calendar for everyone to write down for the family to use and if you want to write down what they ate or something good that day write down the good stuff share the good stuff because it's so easy to just be like this happened this happened this happened instead of being like oh by the way they rocked this they were able to put that puzzle together by themselves like yes like things are gonna happen every day let some of them go like why not just like yeah it was a good day like, okay yeah maybe I got a headache because someone screamed like for four minutes straight but guess what it was two minutes less than last Tuesday I don't know just like let it go and have a good day like just choose to understand the little people trying to figure it out and that's that's just it oh, Pinterest is your new best friend if you haven't already figured that out look up it all look it up all it just makes it so much better and easier in craft ideas 
And I don't know who these Pinterest people are, but they're amazing. Whoever you are and you make things, thank you. Thank you. Um, cook with the kids. That is one thing that they learned so much. Yes, it's the biggest mess of your life to clean up. Um, <laughs> but they grow so much from it and they love it. And if you just teach them to get into the kitchen and you also just give them those life skills too. And they're proud of what they eat and they get to show their parents it too. And it's just... I think it's a great bonding thing. Teach them how to love food and teach them how to make good food. And I feel like that can really help uh, expand a kid's palate as well. I, you know, go through phases of like being picky and not picky eaters, but if it's something they made, I think they're more willing to branch out to try other foods as well. Crafts that show the family what you're doing. Don't be afraid of doing a two day craft project. Let's say like they get a, a box or whatever in the mail um, make a car out of it, make some type of sculpture. For the first day, have the kids just paint the whole thing. The next day, add, it's like progressive art, right? Like the next day, add glitter, and then the next day, add like pom-poms, and then add pipe cleaners, then add eyeballs, and just make it whatever it is. And trash day comes, I say goodbye to that craziness. <laughs> but also, it's just, it's fun for them to have something to look forward to too, to feel like they're making something. Cause you know, when kids are playing, it's their work. How we feel good when we're done with our work, that's their work. Leave, yeah, leave post notes of awesome moments, text the parents of good stuff that happens too. You don't wanna just end every day negative. Uh, when they ask like, how was today? Just change it up, say, always add something good. Always add a positive. Chore charts, some kids love them, some don't, some go through phases. I have one right now that is obsessed with the chore chart, trying to earn things. Other one does not care at all. Does not matter what's at the end of the chore chart. Super not interested. Um, one thing that I found works most of the time, and that's good for the parents and the kids, is bath bombs at the end of the chore chart or task chart or whatever you want it to be for whatever. Um, of course, bath time has to happen to make it fun for the kids. And it's also not another thing to clutter up the house, not another toy, not this and that, but if like if a bath bomb doesn't work, then figure out whatever you, you need to work, whatever works, you know? Um, but bath bombs usually are a pretty, pretty happy thing for both parties. Um, when, I have the house to myself or when the kids are sleeping or whatever the situation is, I try to deep clean sometimes, like the whole mud room, pull everything out, clean everything. I also do laundry when need be. I will set the, get the dishwasher going if it's full. Just do all those little things around the house, fill up the soap containers, um, replace the toilet paper, put the napkins back, fill up the coffee machine with water, organize some stuff and like put things away. Just keep, the house running well oiled machine and it's just i feel like what you put in is what you get back as well and um i've been with a number of families and sometimes it's because they've moved and sometimes it's because the kids both go to school and or they don't need me anymore because one parent decided to stay at home whatever it is but what i've noticed over all the time is that the extra help is always so deeply appreciated and it makes you feel good too. So just do it. It's just so worth it. And then after you're done, you like and if, when you do have your break and you sit down and you're like, oh, I know I did like X, Y, and Z, your break's just gonna feel like that much better. And oh, so I have a list on Etsy of like teacher gifts and on Pinterest, but I, I texted the family that I work for and asked if they did their teacher gifts or anything yet. And they said no, and I was like, well, I have some ideas, like I can take care of it for you. And um, mom was like, yes, please, like that's amazing, thank you. And as a preschool teacher um, or any teacher, losing your pins is one of the biggest life struggles ever. And there's this um, brands on Etsy where they are like, cute little pencils and like glittery and they have like the names and you can get your teacher's names put into them 
and then like literally you will always get your pin back no has your name on it and it's not you taping your name on it looking like you're some crazy pin lady like it was a gift and you're gonna get your pin back and it's cute and i just like that's that's the gift that you want like and or cups too with your name on it that would be really nice too because that's also a problem but have have some stuff ready like just for like the parents just it's it's nice it's fun to be able to like have it in your back pocket ready to go um to figure out the timing of everything this takes some time for each household is so different in what the parents would like help with too um so let's say my day today like are the kids at school or am i taking this kid here the laundry needs to be done dishes need to be done like this room needs to be cleaned up this this and this okay get the laundry started in the morning and then you can have it go throughout the day. Someone's napping, you can fold the laundry. Like figure out the flow. And sometimes it doesn't go according to plan, but if you can figure out a flow and have it down, it really um, will help your day to day not feel so hectic. I have just a few more little pieces. Pick up around the house, take out the trash and recycling, just, of refill the humidifiers, like all the random little things to make everybody else's life easier and flow better. Um, I think I talked about that. Oh, stop doing everything for the kids. Stop, 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 stop putting their socks on, stop putting their shoes on, pants, shirts, putting on their own backpacks, filling up their waters. Like as soon as they're four, they gotta get it, they gotta have it down, gotta have it down. And even at like two and a half, they should be starting to do some of those things on their own. Three, they should be rocking and rolling. I, like some things are way more difficult than others, but they can do it. Even though like the patience has to roll in, like you gotta bring that, you gotta keep the patience, but they're gonna be proud of themselves too. And it's gonna make your life so much easier. And it's just one of those things that it take, it does take time. Every kid's so different too. Um, but if you do take the time and talk to them about it, show them how you're doing, like, look at, I'm pulling this sock apart. You put your hands here, do it with them, have them put it on, start doing that from the start. When they're putting their shirt on, you're like, okay, now you're pushing towards the ceiling to put your arm there and push towards the ceiling with the other one. Good job, now you pull the shirt down. like describe to them what you're doing say what you're doing so it just comes out of your mouth naturally and they almost don't even realize it anymore it's not a foreign conversation it just is what it is and a lot of these things to do is so helpful to preschool teachers or i guess any teacher at some point but like getting the kids like if you need to get them ready for ballet or get their shoes back on if someone knows how to do that themselves it makes the teacher's job so much easier, especially when they have like 12 kids by themselves occasionally, which probably shouldn't happen anymore, depending on laws. There should always be like two teachers in a classroom, but sometimes, you know, things happen. And, um, but if your kid knows how to put their shoes on by themselves, it's very helpful for a lot of people. And getting dressed for the matter of fact, or putting their backpack on, getting ready in line to go out to recess or whatever it is, it's, it's really helpful. Um, last one. Oh, say this schedule out loud to them. I actually did that for the first time today. I was like, okay, so tomorrow at this time, this is happening, then this is happening, and then this is happening, then we're gonna do this. And at this time, we're gonna do this. And I said all of everything that I wrote down for myself. And they're like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh my gosh, why have I never done this before? Like if they knew, instead of saying, where are we going now? Where are we going now? It's just like, hey, let's talk about it. Let's have a schedule. And I got all these other ideas of making a calendar bigger for them so they can see it and move things around. I think there's a spot in the mudroom that might be perfect for that. But it just like blew my mind that I was like, man, why have I not done that before? And so if there's anything that I did not talk about, please put it down below. If you have any questions, also write them down below. I have a few other videos in my little nanny folder category, whatever it's called. Um, but please share. And I just want to help 
as much as I can and have other people give me tips too and share in this nanny community and parent community because we're all, it's everybody's trying to figure it all out. Um, so I hope something helped in here and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.